Hey, welcome back once again to Everyman Driver. I'm your host, Dave Erickson. Thanks so much for watching. This week we're back at the Spokane ORV Park, or as I like to call it, the scene of the crime. This is the infamous pond in which I lost a GoPro video camera and did some major damage to a 2014 Toyota 4Runner. In fact, are you serious? Here is one of the mud flaps from that misadventure. So evidence all around us. Hey, this week we have the 2015 Mazda CX-5 Touring all-wheel drive. Now I've already reviewed the 2013, the 2014. In fact, I drove this vehicle at the Dirtfish Rally School in late April on the autocross course to test out its ability there. But unfortunately, the 2015 CX-5 sees little to no changes over last year's model. So no point in doing a detailed driving review this time. What we will do is go off-road in this vehicle here at the ORV Park, and yes, we will get it muddy. Muddy as hell. All right, let's kick things off right by getting this thing as muddy as possible. Gonna go around, circle around, and do what this car was meant to do. Clearly you can see why I was confident going through that puddle uh, earlier this year in the 4Runner. It's usually pretty shallow. Not today. Oh, well, today it's pretty good too, so let's go. Whoa! Wow, it's a lot deeper than I thought. Holy crap. Mm, gosh. Wow. See, see what I'm saying? I told you it appears to be shallow, but you see how deep I went? Holy crap. I gotta clean off my camera. <laughs> oh my God. All right, now that the camera is cleaned off for now, we're gonna go through a smaller section just to see how this goes, slowly. See? That's not so bad. One thing I'm thankful with this vehicle is the 8.5 inches of ground clearance. We needed that going through that shallow pond. Uh, we're gonna head up this hillside now and see how strong this 184 horsepower, 185 pound-feet of torque engine is to climb. Let's go. I don't know about this. Ah. All-wheel drive, but Okay, we're spinning a little bit. Look at that crap. I'm not gonna make it. Crap. Uh, was that my fault? Speed control? Was that the problem? Maybe that was a problem. Maybe I can find a different route. Or maybe a different hill altogether. I'll tell you what, we'll go over here to the right and go up something a little more manageable and get some success under our belt. This vehicle actually feels underpowered overall. I'm surprised. You may have to opt for the CX-9. Again, this is a compact crossover SUV. Oh. Yeah, I just think this car could be, have a little more, you know, gusto under the hood. But see right there, that was fine getting up that hillside. I'm looking around because I saw a motorcycle here earlier. This is just a, a beautiful ORV park. Now we're going over some moguls. Take a look at that. Fuel economy in the CX-5 for 2000. 
15 is 24 city, 30 highway. And this week I've been averaging just over 24 in mixed driving, so not where they expect it to be. And that's of course just the estimates. And I haven't done anything too extreme. The only extreme stuff I'm doing is today. And I'm not going down that route, but I will go down over here. Of course, my job is to test this vehicle's off-road capability. You will not need to do this uh, in your regular driving routine, I'm sure. This is just one of the perks of the, of the job is driving this off-road because, you know, it's all-wheel drive. I don't think these vehicles are meant to do this type of off-roading, but they are capable of doing it, as exampled by what I'm doing so far. Now, some of the vehicles that compete with the CX-5 include the Honda CR-V, the Toyota RAV4, the Ford Escape, Kia Sportage, and Hyundai Tucson. There's also the Hyundai Santa Fe Sport, if you're so inclined. So a fairly competitive marketplace and an increasingly popular vehicle because of its ability to you know, take you to work on a regular basis, but also that family hauler capability, and as you see here, some off-roading. Now, what we did at the Dirtfish Rally School, as some of you have commented before, that wasn't off-roading, but technically, since we weren't on paved roads, that was off-roading. This is more extreme off-roading. If you wanna get serious, well, don't get, don't get a Mazda CX-5 get a Jeep if you want to do some serious off-roading. That's my recommendation. That was me. The only real change over last year's model compared to this model, by the way, this is the third model year for the CX-5, is Mazda's advanced keyless entry as standard on the Touring and Grand Touring trim levels. Also, there's a price increase across all trim levels of I think it's $150. You can check your numbers, but that's what my research shows. So basically, the same car at a fairly decent price point. I'll tell you about the price in just a moment. I'm gonna get muddy one more time. I'm so nervous. Oh, I hope I didn't lose the camera. Oh. There we go. Did I lose it? Look at that thing. Horrendous. Guess what? I lost the camera. So we have to find it because I can't afford to keep doing this. So, God, what do I do? Should be sticking up, right? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to, well, I brought with me a rake just in case I was to find the old one. Go through this fast. Whoa. Maybe it'll reveal.
I found it. Oh, crap. Let's go ahead and wrap this up after today's misadventure. On a positive note, I did find my GoPro. Just some collateral damage. I wonder if it's still rolling. Oh my goodness. That's um uh... <laughs> It was. And this is why I brought a rake today. Holy cow. Uh, by the way, the MSRP range on this vehicle is between $22,000 and $29,000. Mine is tested with the optional packages, just over thirty-one dollars uh, It is worth a look, and most certainly, and as always, a test drive. I really hope you enjoyed this off-road drive and review of the 2015 Mazda CX-5, one of the only ones you'll see right now on YouTube. I just happen to be one of the first journalists to actually drive this vehicle around and test it. Uh, check out more videos in the off-road playlist section here on YouTube. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.